So yeah, it's always an ordeal to prepare a bicycle for a flight. That's what I'm doing today. You can hear the furnace running in the background. It, uh, yeah, forgive me for the audio. I have, or I'm going to voice over most of this video so you can hear exactly what I was doing and I'm going to give you a little play-by-play -play wherever you can see what I'm actually doing. There, the furnace stopped. Well, it's minus 30 outside. So, you know, this thing comes on all the time now. Anyways, I am packing a bicycle, my bicycle, for a flight. And this is the very first time that we're using the Rhino Walk bicycle bags. I'm good to go. Got my bike. Alright, it's incredibly noisy here, so I'll probably voice over all this, but I wanted to show you what it's, what it's all about, what I'm about to do here. This is a bag for putting your bicycle in there for when you're taking it with you on the airplane. It's barely open, this is Velcro. It's Velcro in here, and open the top. This is the actual bag. It's quite large. It's called Rhino Walk Focus on Riding Bags. The problem with this type of bicycle bag is that they're actually way too small for the bike. That is, unless it's disassembled. So that's what I'm doing here. On my particular bike, which is a typical 1980s mountain bike, Everything that's in front of the fork has to come off. This means the rack, which automatically means the fender because they're attached together, and the front wheel. As per airline specification, both tires have to be deflated. I will most definitely need the front wheel, so I will have to find a way to strap this to the bike or stow it in a different way. Challenge number one. The paddles are sticking out way too far, so I remove them. Note that the left side will have left hand thread. Lefty Lucy, oh no, lefty tidy actually. Now to the seat and then the handlebars. How am I going to deal with those? Well, honestly, I had no clue, but hey, I got these zip ties and I promise to think about it while I strap the wheel to the frame because that seemed like the best way to do this. To simplify things, I treat the stem and handlebar assembly as a unit. Note that there are cables attached, so I don't want to remove this completely, but I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with it. The seat and seat post are easy by comparison. I even got some nice uh, foam insulation to cushion them. It all fits perfectly in one of my bottle cages. One problem solved. As you can see here, I also found a way to tie up my handlebar assembly. I don't really like this, but this part is so oddly shaped that uh, I had no choice. Now here I am trying to attach the front rack to the front wheel in its new place. The bike is probably going to receive some rough treatment, so I add some cushioning wherever I can. I have to find a way to keep the fork from turning in all different directions, so I just strap it to the front wheel that's already strapped to the frame. To protect the fork and the dropouts, I find some styrofoam and more foam insulation and strap it around there like that. I can already tell you that I have to find a better way, that this wasn't ideal.
Yesterday I packaged Barbara's bike and I wasn't 100% happy with it because yeah, I felt like maybe parts of the bike could rub through the side and I, that's absolutely not the way I want it because number one, it's going to eventually rub through the bag and number two, once it does that, it, it uh, has the poten potential to damage the bike too. So I found a way that I think is almost 100%. See, in the summertime, we brought a bike back from Holland for Barbara, and we had a box. Box is kind of awkward and heavy and uh, was never my first choice. But in this case, the box comes in handy, and I'll show you why. I have cut the box in two pieces. And now I have just enough cardboard to make covers for the bike on each side and underneath. So with it folded like that, I think it's going to fit in the bag just perfectly. At first it actually seemed like my bike was too big for this bag, but with a little bit of jiggling, it worked so it's a relief actually because definitely need the bike I was worried that my bike might have been too big for the bag but it's in there I still have to wrap up the pedals i have to put all these little screws in a neat little package along with the pedals and um, my speedometer i don't know what else there might be some other things that i have to think of but they're minor the bikes in the bag both our bikes are packed so yeah we'll be on our way somewhere and it's only in a few days but i always like to get those bikes ready a few days in advance. Normally, I like to do that outside, somewhere where I have lots of room. You know, then I put all my stuff on the picnic table and it looks a bit more organized than here. But right now it's impossible, so I did it here in this very small space in the basement. We got too much stuff in our basement. So far, those those Rhino Walk bags, I think they, they are awesome, as you see. With the, the box, and this was one box that I used for two bikes, I cut it in half. And then, because of the flaps, it's almost the same length as this bag is. So, it'll give a nice protection all the way around. And, yeah, I just put it, make it kind of like a bicycle taco. Make, make it into a taco. The bikes, the filler, and the, <laughs> the boxes, the tortilla, and then put the whole thing in the bag. And I think we're good to go. So stay tuned for finding out where we're going and, and give me some feedback. What do you think about these bags? I've never traveled with them. If you had experience with that, let me know. Before, we've tried uh, different ways. When we fly with our Canada, usually they supply if you ask for it and they don't necessarily tell you sometimes you have to actually tell them yes you guys do have them because they don't like to tell you about it but there are bike bags that they have they're very thick plastic it's kind of the same thickness like you would have for a vapor barrier in the house and it says bike bags on them and the advantage with those is that you don't really have to take your bike apart. There's only a few basic things you have to do, like take off the, the pedals, deflate the tires, and put the handlebars in line with the frame. The wheels can stay on, the racks can stay on. Beautiful. But they don't give a whole lot of protection, and they're usually, well, two flights, one want to go to where you're going and then the return flight you can still squeeze in with those and they're done but these ones here i'm hoping we can use them over and over again at least well probably not forever 
but they are fairly good material, so they, they should last us a while. Yeah, stay tuned so you'll find out where we're going, and uh, I'm going to share as much as I can with you. I wasn't going to film this because messy basement, bad lighting, no room for me to move, and then I've actually never packed the bike in those before. This one, mine, was the second one I did. Barbara's was the first. There's a whole lot more uh, shrink wrap and, and uh, tape in Barbara's, which probably wouldn't have been necessary, but <laughs> you find out as you go, right? Anyways, are you subscribed? I would like to have you as a subscriber, of course. And for you, there's absolutely no commitment at all. For me, yeah, there's the pressure to do even better. And that's just what I need. So I'll talk to you soon.